Hey everybody, it's Miranda here and I've got a design team project for Discount Paper Crafts and that is Kathy's Etsy store. She sells everything over there. All the most popular stuff she has and then also the new releases are going to be coming up at the beginning of the year. It's like the most exciting part of the year for us scrapbookers. And of course she'll be getting all the new Prima releases and stuff like that in there as well. So this is a little canvas I made for her store. And the idea I got from Pinterest, it's really like nothing like the Pinterest post. Someone had made like a wooden and heart with like guitar strings and um, wrenches on it and stuff so it's like completely different but what I saw inspired me to do this so if you can't tell from the pictures and from here it is a heart and I use the Prima printery paper on it and then most of my embellishments and stuff are from Kathy's store so the first thing I did is I gessoed the canvas and then I just did a lot of layering with some stamping and some tissue paper and like a aqua color so all of that you've seen, excuse me, all my hands are very um, grungy. I've got paint all over them. Most of this blue you see is not like mist. It is the tissue paper coming out from underneath. So like right there and stuff. So I did that. And then I, like I said, I did random stamping with a grid stamp. And then I took my damask mask. I love saying that from um, Kathy Store Crafters Workshop mask. It's one of my favorite ones. To um, And I didn't do the bottom because I want it to sit flat. Um, and if I had this texture on there, it would kind of move. But that is the damask one from Kathy's store. And I just used some stucco to do that. And so then once that was all done, I did a lot of spraying and misting. And I used a ton of different colors. Um, this really shimmery gold you see is Perfect Pearls. Um, I love that stuff, super shimmery. But I used a lot of Lindy Stamp Gang and shimmers and a bunch of other stuff. And then I just drew out the shape of my heart with a little template out of chipboard. And then I wanted it to be all pieced apart. So, like there's a piece here, there's a piece down here that got covered up. This is one piece right here. And then I cut down here and stitched it up with some white chain. As you can see, just cross stitched it all the way down. And then this white part to here is one individual piece. And then everything is popped up. So it's on black chipboard. So it looks nice and clean when you look at it. So it's all popped up. And I masked all the top as well before I did anything. So then I adhered that down and did my little stitching over there and I just started embellishing it and I left a gap out here because I wanted to use like bolts and this little um, miniature fork that I got in a swap with someone and this little light bulb so that closes in the heart over there and I thought that was really cool. And then for the bottom part this is a graphic 45 keyhole that is from Kathy's store as well. Um, she has, you know, when you go to someone's shop on the left tab she has, you know, graphic 45, Prima, all that kind of stuff. This is just in the graphic 45 tab on her store. And I just went over it with some gesso and added some pearls to the center of it and then I also added a Prima clock key, uh, not clock key, clock handle, you guys know what I mean, there to the top of it, and that again is from Kathy's store, and again, you can click on the Prima tab, and that will come up, and then over here, I put this beautiful, I love, love, love these, this is a Kaiser Craft wooden frame, chipboard wooden frame, um, and what I did to it is I painted it with gesso, and then I used shimmers, and hold on, let me grab it really quickly, y'all, so I can show you how beautiful it is, really shimmery stuff, well, I can't get to it, so anyway, scratch that, but I used the shimmers, um, paints on it and let it heat set I heat set it so it bubbled up so it's like super shimmery and streaky and really pretty so you can achieve some really awesome effects with these chipboards from um, Kaiser Craft and these are from Kathy's store here's the bigger one and then here is this size one really really pretty and then the one that I used was the tiny one that came with this set too so you can see the size difference there but really really beautiful I'm so in love with these she has a lot of the Kaiser Craft um, stuff in her store again I'll show you one more that she has super beautiful these are in her store as well so I will link those down below as well um, and then I just put like some Prima flowers around it. This was a Tea Time Rose I had a mustache. This is a Bristow Bloom from Kathy's store that I'd purchased earlier on in the year. Um, some little leaves coming up here. These are Prima leaves as well. And then in there I'm going to put a picture of... If I end up keeping this, I can't decide yet. Um, I'm torn. Sometimes when I create things I want to keep them. If I keep it, I'm going to keep... I put a picture of me and Chris if I send it to somebody else. I'm going to put that in there. Um, over here I have these angel wings from Prima. Again, this is from Kathy's store. It comes with these ones and I would grab them really quickly, but they're all the way over there. And then the longer ones too. And they're the Prima resins from Kathy's store. And I went over them with a ton of that same shimmers color here. And then also Well Watch Blue from Lindy Stamp Gang. 
and I heat set it so that it like really soaked into those grooves and it's super shimmery of course the camera doesn't show you but it's super super shimmery and this is one of those metal flowers from Michaels and I just went over it with some white ink and a little washer there with a pearl in the center and then over here I just had this big spray going up the side and this whole base is a Prima spray but I ended up taking the Prima flowers off and using these Kaiser Craft paper blooms. These are from Kathy's store as well. I absolutely love these flowers. I have them in like every color. Those are the blue right there. Here's a pack of the pink ones that I have and I always get those um, in black and every other color. She has all of those and those are just in the Kaiser Craft tab on her store. So I put the blue ones there and I just went over them with a little bit of gesso to kind of whitewash them and I whitewashed all the flowers and the little sprigs coming up and I curled them with my paintbrush. And then back there is this junkyard findings that came from the packaging here and I thought it was suiting because of all the metal and stuff on there. Like little findings. So I just fussy cut that out from the packaging and put that in there. And then that's the heart to the resins up here. And I just went over it with scintillating silver and a couple other colors to make it really shimmery. And then that is pretty much it y'all I guess. But even though it's really small it's a 6x6 six six canvas I think it's just so pretty and it's so detailed in the masking and everything going on just really makes it nice. I was really happy with how this came out. Um, and I am working on another one and I'm also going to do a bigger one with a lot more collaging going on but that is in the process so I can't wait to share it with y'all when I'm done. Oh I forgot my little clock key over here so I put that over there too. The little Tim Holtz stuff and Kathy does have a few Tim Holtz items in her store but anyway I hope everybody's really having a good um, December getting ready for Christmas and um, enjoying time with your family and stuff and I'm sorry if I'm MIA a little bit but I just got a lot going on and I haven't been really doing a lot of bigger projects I've been working on like Christmas cards and stuff so I will share this with y'all soon and again this is all from Discount Paper Crafts and I'll put a link to Kathy's store down below and if you guys have any questions just let me know and I'll talk to you later.